Yeah, greetings, it's Tales from the Jails, John G. Sutton here. And I'm going to talk today a little bit about another unfortunate incident concerning uh, Bronson, Charles Bronson, Salvador, original name Peterson. Uh, apparently his brother is now speaking out against him. Now, at this point in his life, uh, Charlie needs a lot, as much help as he can possibly get. And what has he got from his brother? His brother's saying he's no longer supporting him for release. He doesn't believe he should be released. And, and what's all this about? Apparently, uh, his name's Mark, I believe. Mark Peterson. Uh, this is nonsense from him. Because he's saying that because uh, his supposed son... He calls it his fake son. That's Bit Bambi, yeah, the, the, the George Bambi, yeah, who was in that stupid documentary about uh, Charles that's done him no good whatsoever, yeah. Well, his brother's saying because of this, he is no longer supporting his uh, his brother's application for parole after forty eight years, yeah. Well, how sad is that? I mean, imagine Charlie's banged up Woodhall, I believe he's at. Yeah, but he's banged up in the segregation unit at Woodhall. And uh, he hears this kind of nonsense going on. Don't worry, the criteria for releasing Charles Bronson is whether or not he's a threat to society. I don't believe he is. And I don't believe that the parole board will feel that he is. So... Let's fingers crossed and Charlie get out. It's disgraceful. I mean, the only reason they'd hold him in there is revenge. And listen, th those people who said, "Well, let, let's start him off at a, an open prison." The problem you've got there is some mad wannabe will take him on just to get uh, a notch on their belt or whatever they think it is, you know. And uh, of course, when Charlie naturally responds he's going to be whipped back to the segregation unit and they'll rip his ticket up but I don't believe they're going to do that I believe that the parole board are going to sit down and say he is no longer a threat to society and he must be given a chance to be free that's my belief and uh, we'll find out within the next few weeks in the meantime, if you look at the news today, there's an article on the BBC site about a, a prisoner called Wayne Bush. He's aged 52 years old. He's just been whipped back into prison for battering his girlfriend, so he's doing another three years on top of his sentence because he was recalled because he's a, a drug smuggler who, along with a small team, were uh, smuggling drugs in from a yacht and uh, apparently the drugs were a substantial amount there's about 160 million pounds worth of drugs so he was definitely going to uh, make some money on those so he thought but yeah they all banged up in prison and he's back in now uh, he was taken to i think it was whole crown court where he got some extra bird but it was it was revealed that whilst he was in prison he was bitten by a rodent a probably a rat and uh, he contracted what's known as Wheels disease, W-E-I-L-S, Wheels disease, which is uh, oh, its official name, that, that's its known name, but it's called leptospirosis, leptospirosis. It involves rash and loss of appetite and inability to urinate and, and swelling of the exterior limbs like ankles and feet and generally uh, it's a seriously debilitating illness which is usually contracted through uh, taking in if you're in, in open water say you're swimming in a, a, a river or a canal or something like that and you get some water in uh, that, that contains uh, the urine of rats or something some other creatures yeah but it can also be passed through being bitten, although that's very rare. But uh, according to this uh, guy, Wayne Bush and his physicians, that's what happened to him. 
problem with the prisons is that a lot of them are full of vermin. I mean, they've been standing things like Strange Ways and Pentonville, Wormwood Scrubs, Wandsworth, all that lot, Armley Jail. They've been standing for nearly 200 years. 200 years of inmates throwing food, filth, excrement all over the place. It's going to be rats. And they're not doing anything about it. They just can't, can they? They're in the building. They're in the infrastructure. They'll be underneath the buildings. At Strange Ways, when I was there, we, you could smell the rats. I mean, you, you just smell it, you know. Because some of them would die and then they'd start to rot. Oh, it's a terrible place. Stay away from prisons. Absolutely to be avoided. I haven't been back since I left. I left in 1985. I was officially retired in November of 1985, having joined in January of 1975. So it's fast approaching 50 years, is it not? So that's what I'm talking about today, basically. Charles Bronson's brother. How kind of him, eh? All because Charlie Bronson says he's got a son, or thinks he's got a son. And uh, Bambi, who is, looks to me like, the class clown what I've seen of him and he certainly isn't helping Charles Bronson putting him on television and discussing his uh, potential for violence I just don't think that this is uh, the kind of behaviour that's going to assist Charles in getting out but my belief is sincere belief that the parole board are going to say our main criteria is this does this man pose a threat to society? And I don't believe he does. And now I, I'm going to ring the song dinger. Here we are. No, it's not a song. Charlie's grabbed his billy goat gruff. He's heading for the hills. It was it was snowing in Rotherham yesterday. Matt snowed this morning. Charlie will soon get there. He'll be all right. Running round the running round the moors. Yeah. Anyway, all of you leave nice comments down here. Thank you very much for that. Don't forget to read my book, yeah. There it is. HMP Manchester Prison Officer. I was there. It's for sale on Amazon folks. Uh, and maybe leave me a review if you've read my book. Don't let me influence you on how to review my book that's entirely for you but if you've read it please do leave me a review I'm now going to read you a poem this is a, a nice poem by Rudyard Kipling who's something out of fashion these days isn't he Kipling although he wrote if if you can manage when all around you are losing their mind and blaming it on you and what is more you'll be a man my son yeah well I quite like that poem but he also wrote some others that are less politically correct these days. Yet a better man than I am, Gunga Din, and all that stuff, you know, the white man's burden. Yeah, seriously, have a look at Rudyard Kipling, Polit politically incorrect poetry. This is a politically reasonably correct poem by Rudyard Kipling. This is the way through the woods. Are you sitting comfortably? Parlour, are you? You take the high road and I'll take the low road. Anyway, here we go. We're going to be walking through the woods now. Are you ready? They shut the road through the woods 70 years ago. Weather and rain have undone it again. And now you would never know there once was a road through the woods before they planted the trees it is underneath the coppice and heath and the thin anemones only the keeper sees that where the ring dove broods and the badgers roll at ease there was once a road through the woods yet if you enter the woods of a summer evening late when the night air cools and the 
trout ringed pools where the otter whistles his mate they fear no men in the woods for they see so few you will hear the beat of a horse's feet and the swish of a skirt in the dew steadily cantering through the many solitudes as though they all perfectly knew the old road through the woods but there is no road through the woods wasn't my best effort was it never mind and I can assure you Larry I am not an acidic Jew I am not although I can see with the wrinklets and the hat it may appear so that's today's tales from the jails don't forget to have a look at my tiktok channel jailer john there's lots of comedy on there it's comedy you know i'm not serious about that yeah i'm going to do something on macron and rishi sunak today because they've had a, a little love in haven't they a little love where they shook hands and he's rubbed his back it's nice isn't it eh? I got my suspicions about that macaron. Anyway, happy days, tales from the jails.